Dr. Christina Johnson is resigning as president of the Ohio State University only two and a half years into her five year contract. However, the university is not answering questions as to why. We thank you for joining us for NBC4 at 5. I'm Jennifer Bullock. And I'm Jared Smalley. Obviously, the president of the university has a lot of pull in central Ohio, and NBC4 is bringing you team coverage today. NBC4's Karina Chung has reaction from Governor Mike DeWine who says he had a good working relationship with Dr. Johnson. But first, NBC4 investigates Jamie Ostroff has been requesting and digging through public records. Jamie, what were you able to find? Well, Jennifer, I went through hundreds of pages of records kept by OSU's Board of Trustees and found no indication that the board was unhappy with President Christina Johnson, who just as recently as August said she looked forward to working with the trustees. Meeting minutes and reports show praise for the president, a record of accomplishments under her leadership, and enthusiasm to move forward with Dr. Johnson's plans for the future of OSU. The most recent financial audit from fiscal year 2022 shows growth and improvement for the university's already solid financial footing. In August of 2021, the Board of Trustees approved a $27,000 raise and a $263,000 bonus for President Johnson because she, quote, demonstrated excellent progress and achievement. Johnson's accomplishments at OSU include a record year for fundraising, a pilot program called the Scarlet and Gray Advantage with the goal of debt-free bachelor degrees at OSU by 2030, and initiatives to make OSU a more inclusive, diverse, and environmentally friendly campus. One year after that raise, minutes from the August 2022 Board of Trustees meeting contain no mention of Johnson's salary. And in November's meeting, Johnson's name was removed from next year's committee appointments. OSU spokesman said the board brought in an outside consultant to conduct Johnson's annual performance review, just like they have in years past. He said that review was not completed because the board was aware before the meeting earlier this month of Johnson's plans to resign. Now, I am still pressing the university for more information and records that can possibly help answer our questions about why Dr. Christina Johnson is leaving the Ohio State University in the spring.